Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one yard so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah. Come on with another wonderful episode of That's Right Talk Shop. But we got a special episode at LA Comic Con 2018. I'm here with Justin or Jesco.com. Yo, man, I had to stop because he had the villain. You know what I'm saying? He had the villain behind me. Dude, you're a hip hop fan, love you. You, so, yeah. <laughs> before we even get started, yeah. hip hop, in the in the distinct way that you're doing it, mm -hmm. why? Well, so I come from an animation background. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of where it all started for me. I work for a bunch of big companies as an animator, a concept artist, and about well, five years ago, well, six years ago, I started doing a lot more of these shows. I was getting burned out by working <laughs> in, the in the studio scene, and so I needed a break. So I started doing these shows, and you know, when you're at these shows, the stuff that you sell is a lot of print. So the way I approached it was, to me, the guys who were the best in making art for print were guys like Bob Peake and Robin McGinnis. Okay, guys okay. Who were famous for making like the James Bond posters. You know, those really illustrated posters from yeah. the 60s and 70s. And they had like a very, a very distinct vibe to them yeah, too. Yeah, you know, and it's, it's kind of they're all that one point perspective where all the stuff is bursting out the center. Yeah. I mean, it makes you think of those black exploitation print posters. True, true. And you know, so when I started making my my print art, you know, just by virtue of me drawing like an animation designer, I draw differently already. So yeah. my color and layout aesthetics came from looking at those guys because okay. I felt like I'm gonna make print art, might as well look at the masters and like Jack Davis, Bob Pete, and Robin okay. Davis were the guys. Makes know? sense. Yeah, and so it's it, a happy combination of those two things. It, it shines, it definitely oh, thank shines. You, thank you. Uh, so, you know, you got the villain. You got Dilla. We were talking off camera a little bit yeah, yeah. about your Dilla piece that you had in Detroit. Mm -hmm. tell, tell the people a little bit how that played out when you when you kind of displayed it in Detroit. Well, you know, it's crazy because, you know, as I was telling you, like, you know, I went, you know, we're doing the Motor City Con. It, uh -huh. It's kind of like on the outskirts of Detroit, no, no by mission. But you get that crowd. It's their common convention for yeah. that area. And... I kind of put it out there just open a drum up a story or two from somebody who might have known them because you know if you narrow it down to just the hip-hop community of Michigan yeah in area, that area yeah, you're gonna find somebody and, sure. and it worked out I mean I, I met a woman who knew him and his little brother since they were kids and I met another fella named Hush who's like this underground rapper out there who you know when he was coming up Dylan was already the big dog and yeah Slum village and then were huge right so the feel you don't want to get disappointed by your heroes so it's awesome to hear that he's as cool as you would yeah, think. Yeah, and as dope yeah. as we all, you yeah. know, thought him to be. And, you know, and that's part of the fun of, of choosing the subject matter that I choose. It's things that I'm into. So I could talk to people about the stuff who are into it just as much as me. And then occasionally it, it, it winds up in the hands of somebody who knew him. Or, you know, ah. it, and it makes it that much more fun to talk about. So, Definitely. You know, you can see why I... <laughs> I'd rather do this than working in a studio yeah. or at a day job in a desk somewhere because it's that's, that's it's fun. sick. It's, it's sick. Fun. And yeah. I mean, not only that, you got Voltron and stuff, but right now you got NWA. We got behind NWA us. Uh, Woo. You got the Woo, Woo behind us. Uh, yeah, Dilla, yep. and you got Dylan. Yeah. Are you thinking of any other people? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that here's without the without spoiling. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know what it is like. So you know. In Northern California, there's a group of artists, me and a couple other guys have traveled together. And one of my buddies cover, covers a lot of hip hop as well. So oh, okay. we try and cover different stuff. And he, right now, my buddy Zon has a, a Tribe Called Quest piece. Ooh. And I want to do a Tribe piece, but you know what? Um, here's another one. Like, I was just talking to my sister about the other day that I thought would be cool. Because you know, I've covered the last couple of weeks. You know, well, Dylan, it's cool. Cause Dylan, put it on a side note. Dylan and Jay Dilla. They kind of cover so multiple coasts. Dominion, yeah, you know? I mean, because with Dilla being from the Midwest and yeah. having like the East flavor, yeah. with working with Daylight Busta, yeah, and, then, and then also working with Mad Lib. Well, yeah, and you, I mean, you think about the Mad Villain album mm -hmm. and Jay Dilla coming out here. They came out to the West Coast and worked with Stone's Throw. So that's yeah, West Coast, but they're not from the West Coast, so it's kind of cool that it embraces all hip hop culture on all the coasts. True. But I was thinking just specifically West Coast. So right now, I have the NWA one. Which is very yeah. much. And it West is crazy. <laughs> like, you guys, like, that, it, it's crazy. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing an old school Snoop. Like, I wanted to do Ooh. a long skinny print, but I'm thinking gin and juice Snoop riding a bike with the, <laughs> with the fro and the, and the hockey Nice, jersey, right? nice. So, 
that would be fun, you know? Yeah. Because a lot of people, you know, us. They'll know, remember. They'll, they'll, they'll remember. be like, ah! That's the Snoop. You know, yeah. he was outlaw, that's right? The, that's the old home, Snoop. <laughs> yeah, it was exciting. You know, I think about when I was a kid, high school, and uh, albums, the anticipation for certain albums coming out. Yeah. Snoop's first album was like, man. That thing us. hit like a, yeah. like a meteor, man. Like, I mean, that can thing. you think of another album that people were waiting for more than that after the Chronic? That was like. See, you got you had Chronic was crazy. Uh, of course, Doggy Style was crazy. That's, that's um, Wu Tang Forever because we knew they were finally getting yeah. back together. Yeah. Um, big second joint. Uh, there's but yeah, there's there's certain ones that are like super it's, it's like everybody memory, right? yeah. everybody's kind of like okay, what does this sound like? Yeah. And that's dope. So, yeah. before we get out of here, where can people find you here at the wow. LA Comic Con 2018? Uh, we're, we're on a back corner, so you go to the back of the hall. We're go on, way in the back. We're the, exactly the back. We're in J7, right across from Rob Lightfield. Ah. But, um, you know, it's cool. This has been a good spot. We were kind of in the same position last year. Mm -hmm. and it, it is cool. We're at a good cross section where people can see us this way or that way, but yeah. J7 and Artist Alley is where we're at. Cool. And before we bounce, where can they find you online? Um, JustScope.com. So J U S S C O P E dot com, and cool. it's kind of got a link to everything. So Instagram, Instagram Twitter, same, right. same handle, JustScope. Cool. Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. All right, where, where? Well, guys, you've seen it here first. You got Voltron, you got Wu, you got NWA, tons of great stuff. Your boy Dilla, we were just talking about that this week on Beast Vibes Life. From us to you, we're saying thanks for watching and peace.